Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create realistic wooden crates in Photoshop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see here in this set design piece that I did for a live theater show, I needed some wooden crates in the, sh in the scene. So down here in this corner, I had to create this wooden crate. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to create today. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new document. Mine is 500 by 500, but the size doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you need. The next thing we're going to do is we need to find a wood board texture. So I just went on to Google Images, whoops, and I did a quick search for wooden board textures. And you're just looking for some something that doesn't have any watermarks on it that you can use for free and that you have the rights to. So I found this one. It's from a site called All Free Download. So we know that it's free and that we can use it. So you can go ahead and visit the site and then just click the download button. I'll leave the link for this site in the description. So once we've downloaded it, we want to bring it up in Photoshop. And once we bring it up, we want to copy it and we're going to paste it into our document. Now I know that this image is going to be way bigger than our document size. So I'm going to zoom out a whole bunch so that we'll be able to see the entire thing. So we'll go ahead and paste it in. And then using Control T, or if you're on a Mac, it's Command T, we are going to transform it and change its size. And I'm keeping the proportions by holding down Shift while I resize it. And we want it to fit inside our document. And we'll hit Enter to solidify that. All right, so now we have our wood texture in our document. Now what we're going to want to do is we want to cut out one of these boards. And the way we'll do that is we're just going to use our marquee tool, which is this tool right up here. And we're just going to select one of these boards. Should be good. And then we're just going to copy it by going Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. We'll add a new um, we don't need to add a new layer. We're just going to paste that in and it'll create a new layer. So now we have our second board, as you can see here. So next what we want to do is we want to take this board and we're going to resize it. We're going to enlarge it. All right, cool. Now we want to cut off the tops and the bottoms so we're gonna select the middle part with the marquee tool and then we're gonna invert the selection by going control shift I or if you're on a Mac it's going to be command shift I so now it's selecting all of this area on the outside of our selection we're just gonna hit delete and I'll delete those ends now we want to copy this enlarged board that we've just created so we're gonna select it and copy it and then we're going to paste it. So now we have two of these guys. And we want to align them and put them about that far apart. Now we're going to paste another one. And this time we're going to turn it by using the transform tool and holding down shift so that we get it at a right angle. And then we're going to grab that and bring it down like so. And then we're going to do the same thing one more time. Cool. Now let's grab this guy and bring him over. All right, awesome. Now what we want to do is one last time we're going to paste this guy and we're going to put him at an angle that will reach from one corner of our box to the other corner. So that looks like about the right angle. All right, cool. I'm going to enter that. And let's bring them down to the very bottom of all those layers. Next, what we want to do is we want to merge all of those layers together. So we're just going to start with the bottom one and hold down shift and click on our top layer. So we have all of those layers selected. And then we're going to right click and then go to merge layers. So now those are all one layer. Now what we want to do is we want to select everything on the outside of this box. So using the wand tool, which is this one right here. The hot key for it is W. We're gonna select this outside area and then we're gonna come back down to our wood texture layer. And 
we're going to delete that area like so. Now what we're going to want to do next is we want to select this shape by holding down command and clicking the layer or on a Mac it's going to be command or sorry on a Mac it's going to be command and on a Windows it's going to be control. Next we're going to create a new layer bring it underneath this layer and we're going to fill it with black. Cool. You can't see it because it's underneath there, but if we turn this layer off, we have our black layer now. Now using the fil going to filters, blur, and then box blur, we're going to give it a nice blur and we'll put it at about 15. Now this depends on the size of your document because ours is 500 by 500. We can do 15 pixels, but if you're working with a really big, big document, then you're going to need more than 15 pixels blur. So we'll go OK. And then let's select our bottom shape again, our wooden texture, and we're going to invert the selection. And then, but still being on this black layer, we're going to delete out that area. Cool. Now we can go ahead and merge those layers. So all those layers are one now. Now what we want to do is let's go ahead and select this and copy it. Then we're going to come into this other document that I created that has a box that's in perspective. Now this is a whole nother video for creating perspective so I'm not going to go into that. But I'm going to show you how you're going to lay your textures onto your box and give it some shadow. So we're going to go, we're going to paste it in and then using the distort tool or the transform tool and then going to right clicking and going to distort we are going to distort this to fit onto our box you just want each corner of your texture to fit onto each corner of a plane on your box hit enter. All right, cool. Now just go ahead and do this for all the sides of your boxes. Awesome. Now let's add some shadows to our box. So what we're going to do is we're going to decide which side we want the light to be coming from. So I think we're gonna have the light coming from in front of the box from over here on this side. So this is going to be the light side of our box. So we're not gonna do anything to it. Um, this is gonna be a little bit darker and this one's gonna be very dark. So we're going to select this guy, this layer, and then we're going to bring down the darkness by creating a hue and saturation layer. About there is good. Then let's do the same for this layer. So we'll select it. Using hue and saturation, we're going to bring down the darkness to about there. Looks good. Awesome. And now you have created one realistic looking wooden crate in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I hope to see more of you soon.